there are two types of people when it comes to art. Those who like representational and those who love non-representational. For those who love representational art, they want to look at a picture that is easy to understand because they are from real life. Even someone who doesn't like art can understand. Take Abbe Cruz's painting. We see a self-portrait of Abbe seated, ready to read, but our presence has made him look up. There are other representational paintings of the painting itself. We see landscapes in the background. We also see another example of representational art called still life. We see it on the table beside Abbe. People who prefer non-representational art, they don't want to be told what they are looking at. They prefer to experience it themselves, like this one by Pasita Abad. People who prefer this kind of art connect with it emotionally through the colors, forms, shapes, and even the size of the work. Abstract art is dynamic because it seems to change each time we look at it. But then art doesn't always have to be either or. Sometimes artists like the late Hugo Jansen Jr. gives us a two in one. We have representational art in the top space of the canvas. We see a man carrying what at first glance I thought was a surfboard, but seeing the beached banka, I think they're oars. We also see a barong barong. Take all the elements together, we are looking at an island landscape. By the color of the sun, it looks like it's dusk, so maybe that's why the banka is beached or part upside down. The harsh red-orange makes the atmosphere apocalyptic. And then we have the abstract part, which covers three-fourths of the canvas, which suggests to me that abstract was dearer to Jonsen's heart. The non-representational is underneath the island. It's like Yonzan is showing us all of nature's wonderful elements like gems and minerals that are just waiting to be discovered to make the life of our banquero exponentially better. But maybe, and just maybe, our banquero does know what lies beneath and that's why he built his barong barong on top of it to protect nature's wonders from greedy capitalists. Let's take out the representational portion and imagine if this was all that Yonzon painted. As I look closer, I see representations in the non-representational work. I see a party club scene. These two are enjoying each other's company while this one is on his way to their table. And then we have this figure just standing there. He is in the dark. He seems immovable. His arms are folded to his back. Maybe he's the guard or bouncer keeping to station. The floating rocks are the ceiling and wall decker, while this neon green provides the lighting, which is why the scene is yellowish. I guess deep down, everything in art is representational of things from the real world and the reality of our lives and experiences. Perhaps art is not about what is represented overtly or not on the canvas. Let us therefore unshackle ourselves from self-imposed limitations and welcome whatever art comes our way. Opening our minds to whatever form of art is essential. Art is essential. Mm -hmm.